God bless you. I'm Reverend Artist Arnell Calloway, and I just want to share a testimony with you today on the miracle working power of God. Uh, in 2002, uh, around February, I got real sick. I had eaten some contaminated beef during that time. I was working a whole lot of overtime and, uh, you know, stopping at all kind of places eating, and and I must have picked up something that subsequently uh, poisoned my system. And but at that particular time, I thought I had the flu, you know, because I was sick as a dog. I have never been that sick before. And uh, I went to work, and and when I went to work, I was so sick till they sent me home. And and then I was, and I said on my way home, I, what I'll do, I'll just stop by the doctor, and maybe they'll give me a shot. This is what I was assuming, that they would give me a shot, a flu shot, shot because I thought I had the flu, because my body was just aching over, all over, and I was having all kinds of chills, and I mean, I, I, you know, my body was just going through a whole lot of crazy changes, and, and, uh, and when I went to the doctor, they examined me, and they said I was in renal failure, and I said, renal failure, what's that, you know? They said, your kidneys have shut down. Your kidneys have stopped working. And uh, I just couldn't believe it. It just blew my mind, you know, that this was what was going on in my body. And, and they said, uh, they admitted me. They said, you're not going home. You're not going nowhere. we got to admit you right now, you know, because my body was full of poison and, you know, the toxin or whatever. And, you know, caused my kidneys to just shut down, just, you know, stop working. And... So they was trying to get my kidneys back to working and everything, and uh, and to uh, to no avail, you know, they weren't able to get my kidneys back work. So they sent me downtown to Henry Ford, and I was down there for, you know, in the hospital for two weeks, and they was doing all kind of tests trying to get the kidneys to work, and and. Um, uh, to no avail, they couldn't get my kidneys to work, and then eventually what they did, they put me on a on dialysis, they put a shunt. This is what you call a shunt, and this is a device where you know they stick it in your arm or your neck or somewhere in your body, and and uh, and they hook you up to a dialysis machine. And this dialysis machine does what your kidneys do. They purify your blood. They purify your kidneys. You know because you know because your body develops all kinds of toxins if it's not purified and if your kidneys not working, it can't do its job. And so and then the crazy thing is that you know you're on a dialysis machine for almost three hours, you know, you're sitting there while the blood is draining out your body and going through this machine and it's, you know, purifying your body, you know, purifying your, your blood, you know, and uh, and I told God, you know, I don't want to live like this. God, I know you're a miracle worker. I know what you've done in times past. I've seen you heal. I've seen you deliver. I've seen you set free. I've even prayed for people and God gave miracles and I said, now it's me, you know, God, God, I need a miracle, and um, and I remember, you know, I one day coming from dialysis, you know, and uh, I heard God speak to me. I rode past this church. The church was called Deeper Life uh, in the city of Warren, and 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 God said to me, I want you to go there, and I didn't know why, but I went there, and and at the particular time I went there. I didn't know anybody there, and uh, I had never been in that church before. I didn't know anybody, and uh, and the pastor was a uh, pastor, Doctor Ross Collette, and and they were in revival. They had this preacher, this prophet from North Carolina. Uh, his name was uh, Prophet Kevin Sudge, and uh, and I remember one night during that revival, he had a word. He had a pro a prophetic word from God and he says that there's somebody here tonight and God told me to tell you that I'm healing your blood he was Pacific God told me to tell you I'm healing your blood and I needed a miracle in my blood and um, and you know I was just I just began to rejoice on the inside because I knew that that word was mine and and, and I felt it I received that word uh, my spirit was quickened and and then he went on to say, uh, God is showing me something else. You're going to see the doctor tomorrow. You got a doctor's appointment to see the doctor on tomorrow. And uh, to his, to my amazement, well, 
Well, you know, I had to go to the doctor the next day. And uh, and when I went to the doctor, and the doctors, you know, did the examination and the test, and, and they told me, they said, you know, I see something strange happening in your blood. You know, which there was always negative, nothing positive, you know. It was always a negative, you know, it was like, you know, you know, get ready to live your life on this machine for the rest of your life or something to that effect. I mean, it was always a negative thing, but this particular time, the doctor said, I see some changes happening, which, you know, uh, I, and I knew that God had gave me a miracle, and within two weeks, my body was back to normal. Things began to happen, you know. Um, my kidneys start back to working and, and things just begin to start back to going back to normal and and I remember they said well we're going to have to send you back to Henry Ford you know and uh, and they sent me to Henry Ford and the doctor you know took the shot out of me he says now Mr. Callaway we put these things in a lot of people but it's very rare that we take these things out this is a miracle and I knew that God had gave me a miracle. And I just want to encourage you that God is able to do anything. There's nothing too hard for God to do. If you would dare to trust Him, if you would dare to believe Him, if you would dare to have faith in God, God can do anything. God can open up closed doors. God can make a way out of no way. And I just want to encourage you to trust God. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. God can do anything anything. There's nothing too hard for God to do. Just believe Him. And I just want you to keep me in your prayers and uh, and I want to keep praying for you and just believing God for the supernatural. Believing God for the miraculous. And and just I thank God and and God bless you and God keep you and may heaven smile on you and uh, God you have